Hey guys, what's up? I'm Don Yonere and this is the first of hopefully many uh, Q&A's. This will be a OpenRC Q&A and I'm going to try to keep it short as usual. So if there's a question you think I need to elaborate more on, let me know in the comments and I will do a video update later. Also, this will be about the OpenRC product, but in the future uh, I will do about 3D printing uh, or whatever as well. So enough about that, let's get to the questions and the first one is will you make a more advanced F1 car designed for speed and performance adding differentials and suspension etc. And the simple answer is no I won't because coming from the Truggy which was way more advanced I wanted to make something more simple that more people could uh, build themselves. So that's why the F1 is really simple. It doesn't have any differential suspensions, such as etc. However, the community have added a lot of modifications to it, which you can, if you just search pin shape or thingiverse, you can find lots of that stuff uh, if you want to build them yourself. Also, you can download the step file of the assembly and who knows, mod it and make your own. So the next, next question is, where can I get the CVDs, uh, both for the Truggy and the Touring car? Now, one of the mistakes I made, if you may, when uh, building or designing the Truggy and the Touring car was, I or mistake, I didn't expect it to be this big, like people all over the world with, would build it uh, themselves. So <laughs> therefore, I didn't realize that the company I bought them from in Germany didn't ship outside Europe. So if you're in the States, for example, you couldn't get a hold of the CVDs, which is kind of a big problem. However, people have found alternatives on eBay and other stores. So if you just search the community, the group on Google Plus or the group on Facebook, you'll find another source for that. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think that Conrad, where I bought them from, do ship internationally now, but you're gonna have to check on that. Uh, so the next question, will you make a teething modification for the F1? No, I won't, but I think that's a simple enough modification that anyone can do. So just download the files and add them yourself. What is the new OpenRC project? Well, I can't tell you that right now, but however, if you stick around, you will see later on. Uh, next question, can you do a short video of all F1 body parts and how you would print it with Simplify 3D, including supports or not? So that's actually a good idea and maybe if I have the time I can do that but generally the F1 parts are supposed to be positioned like they are when you import them in your slicer and most parts do not need any support added. There's a list of the parts that need it uh, on Thingiverse, pitch, pin shape etc. So just check that out but there are not a lot of parts that need support and that's how I want it. I really wanted it to be none of the parts, but it's kind of hard to to make it that way. Sometimes you just have to compromise. Does the dual color version of the F1 car require a printer with dual extruder or can they be printed separately? Now, there are two versions, dual color versions. <coughs> Excuse me. And the first version is meant to be possible to print the parts separately and just glue, the, glue them together afterwards. However, you have to consider that primarily it's meant to be printed during you using dual extrusion. So there's no, no gap in between the parts. So depending on the material you're, you're using, it can be hard to put the parts together, but it's certainly possible. And I've done it with this one, for example, there where the parts are printed separately and ju I just push them together. Now the second version is 100% meant to be printed using dual extrusion. Uh, it won't come out very, very good if you try to print them separately. What filaments were used in the Truggy project and where were they used at the various parts? So I think I spoke about that in an earlier video about the Truggy. You're going to have to check that out. But basically I've used ABS, nylon, copolyesters, polycarbonate, TPE, uh, yeah, I just used everything I could get my hands on at the time, test filaments and the prototype filaments and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, maybe I can do a video about that later, but I think there's a video where I talk about it a little anyway. Uh, for upcoming projects, will you be including part lists for the US or at least use parts that can ship internationally? Yes, absolutely. I will do that. 
where can I get the SOLIDWORKS files or where can I get the Inventor files? So I don't use SOLIDWORKS and I don't use Inventor. So you can't get those. The best I can do is I always upload a step file of the assembly, which will allow you to do a certain level of modifications of your own. Worst case scenario, you can use them to recreate the parts and make whatever it is you want to make. So I actually get that question a lot and I don't know why people think well, or would assume I'm using SOLIDWORKS, for example, but I've used Top Solid and Fusion 360 so far for the OpenRC project. Next question, can I buy one from you? Uh, no, sorry, I've had a lot of this, this question and uh, no, I can't sell the cars, sorry. Have you tried designing a short course truck and have that 3D printed out? And no, I haven't tried that. The thought crossed my mind, but that's as far as I've come so far. How many F1 cars do you have? I have no idea. I have parts laying around the entire house. So, but I have three fully working assembled cars that I can just go out and drive at any time. Where can I get the electronics? So in the beginning I bought all the electronics from Hobby King and there is a shopping list somewhere. I think it's on Pinshape and Thingiverse and those sites. Uh, but if you want to buy a full kit you can do so from 3D Printing Pack which has two kits. One including a charger and one excluding a charger if you already have one. So you can definitely check that out. I'll put the link down in the description. What filament is best for tires? Uh, so far I think something, a TPE like Ninja Flex is, uh, I wouldn't say it's best because the best would be to just buy store-bought real uh, rubber tires. But as far as 3D printing goes, something like Ninja Flex is your best option. I want to print the touring car. Is there any more info than on Thingiverse? No, sorry. There isn't because the touring car was a experiment I did to see if I could actually pull off designing an entire car from scratch and building it and so I just did the touring car and designed it just to try things out and see how far I could get and uh, therefore it's not the optimal design it's not really good but and uh, but as I finished it, I didn't just want it to keep it for myself on the hard drive. Maybe someone can take and get something out of it. So that's for why I posted all the files online. But there's not a lot of info and I'm sorry about that. What software did you use for designing of the OpenRC projects? Uh, as I said earlier, Top Solid and Fusion 360. How much does it cost to build, including electronics? Uh, so I'm not sure what the electronics kit costs. Um, so I wouldn't know, but let's see. Next question is how much plastic do I need for an open RC car? So the F1 car is probably using, if you I've printed in PLA, it's use, it will use up like half a kilo or something. So that's how much the plastic will cost and maybe if you want either to buy the tires or print them yourself you have to account for that cost as well including the electronics kit i am not sure how much the electronics kit the electronics kit is right now so you're gonna have to check that out as well when will you release the step files for the 2017 updates okay sorry about that i should have done that a long time ago uh, i'm not sure on how i will release the files in what way or what parts I should include. So that's why I haven't done that yet, but I will try to release them as soon as possible. And uh, I'm sorry for the delay. So that's it for this video. I think uh, it's almost 10 minutes done now and that's as far as I wanna go. But as I said, I'm gonna do shorter and a lot more videos instead. So you guys keep asking questions and I will do my best to try to answer them and uh, as for now take care and I hope to see you soon again.